Among the uh, techniques that I've perceived that organized crime uses is it will have people near you say things uh, like uh, you're going to do this or you're going to do that. Generally, the things they say aren't all that appealing. And some of them are downright uh, the kinds of things that you would want to avoid. But just to see if it was possible, I decided to create better death camps with the idea that the Italians that are associated with organized crime are those that are to go to the death camps. The idea here is that by creating better death camps, there will be less organized crime. Now, I believe that people should kill absent sensation or awareness to the person that dies. Now, to create death camps that do that creates uh, an opportunity to think of some very basic technologies that simply kill people rapidly and effectively, preferably more rapidly and more effectively than any previous kind of death camp. And I urge anyone who hears this video or even thinks about this idea to create new death camps and create new death camps that kill absent sensation or awareness to those that die that are tremendously effective. Now, one of the death camps that I thought about that appeared to have uh, some effect on the Italian people that I associate with organized crime has to do, amazingly enough, with uh, dirigibles and lasers. Uh, basically, members of organized crime have various uh, graphic symbols and things like that that have meaning to them, that uh, persons outside of organized crime uh, lack any mental association with. So if you have something like a dirigible floating above Chicago, and it uses something like a laser pointer, to draw these symbols in front of people who are walking around, those people who are actually members of organized crime will change their movement patterns slightly. Like they'll be hesitant to walk on one kind of thing, or they'll be more attracted towards walking towards another kind of thing. So basically, with a thing like that, and with laser pointers, you can actually process uh, 1,000 or even 10,000 uh, people simultaneously to see if they have some kind of organized crime affiliation. Then you would use uh, basically a kind of laser that's able to uh, slightly mark the surface of their body, preferably absent sensation or awareness. It could just mark their hair. And it could even possibly be just an IR or UV laser. And then once they were marked, uh, the Italians, as well as members of organized crime, as well as government employees that collaborate with organized crime, they call those blueberries. Blue is associated with law, and well, they're blueberries because they work for organized crime. The markings that were on the person's hair or body could then be used uh, with automated uh, non-sentient electromechanical mechanisms uh, to uh, tranquilize the people and then automatically kill them. Now, that's kind of different than a camp, but it is a way to simultaneously process thousands or tens of thousands of people at once to see if they have knowledge specific to organized crime. Now, another kind of death camp that's a little bit more like a camp has to do with a really rapid way of killing people. Now, some previous death camps used to load people on uh, cattle cars and then take them to extermination camps. It occurred to me that that was really a lot of effort uh, and that much less effort could be made to kill the same number of people, preferably more rapidly. And that's you simply have the uh, railroad car full of people. And then what you do is you have the railroad car tilt at the side of a cliff over water. And all the people fall down the cliff and die and then are washed away with the tide. Now, you don't have to bother with fences or people or construction or anything like that. 
So it's a really cheap way to kill people, and it's like a death camp. Also, if you're a little more sophisticated, what you can do is you can dump them off a cliff, which then has a periodic tide which washes them out, rather than dumping them in the water, because you get a much higher kill rate that way, right? And it's a death camp. You want to kill people as rapidly as possible. Now, with a death camp like that, it's really important that the people are absent any sensation or awareness that they're being killed. And an approach to that is to use transdermal fentanyl. Uh, fentanyl is a kind of artificial uh, opiate. And uh, currently, there are transdermal fentanyl things that a person can put on their body that are just like a, a couple centimeters of size that can remove all physical pain. So if you just spray people with a mixture of fentanyl plus something like DMSO that causes it to rapidly travel through the body, plus possibly something like a surfactant to get even uh, more rapid uh, absorption, the person could most likely be dead of uh, uh, opiate-based absence of respiration long before uh, they were in the railroad car or tilted, then tossed off the cliff. So remember, kill with concentration or death camps, absent sensation or awareness. End the fear. Kill Italians first. Kill every member of organized crime. Kill every government employee that collaborates with organized crime. You know, even if a fifth of the population is killed, the natural rate of human increase can replace those human beings so that there can be a happier society immediately afterwards, right away. I'm Trion Verdery. Kill Italians now. <laughs>